Shalom and welcome to Two Minutes of Torah. This year is entitled, May a man and his wife, may they hold hands in public. Part two. The first year we mentioned that hugging and kissing when nida, of course, that's an issa from the Torah. There's nothing to talk about. And holding hands and passing things to each other, we all know it's very serious issa for a man and wife when they nida. The question is when she's not nida. Can they go ahead and walk around in public holding hands? So the Ramah says in the Shulchan Arach that the husband and wife should not do things that are derech that are affectionate in front of other people. And the question is, what's, what does that mean? What's affectionate mean? So now applying that to holding hands. So many will know that Hassan uh, and Kala, right to the chuppah, many times he, he takes her hand and brings it to the chuppah. In some places, I'm not been not to do it. So, some folks may actually say that's part of him. It's not just that he's allowed to, but he's bringing her to his house. That's all part of the halachot of chuppah, bringing her to his home. And I'd say, no, should not go ahead and have any signs of chibah in public, and holding hands also would be considered that. And if many would say that one cannot do it. A postic that is mekel is the b'nei banim, and he writes in Chelek Dalid, fourth Chelek, that he writes that the is of Chiba in public is things that are that bring one closer to intimacy, hugging, kissing, and those are the acts that are prohibited. Because that's something that's associated with intimacy, and therefore acts that lead into intimacy cannot be done in public, hugging, kissing. Or the Gemara is a case where the man was being checked by uh, his wife, Elias, and he's lying in her lap. That's like an intimate kind of position. Even though checking Elias is not intimate, but lying in her lap is. So the Bani Barnum says, or Hankin says, but holding hands, that's not considered an act that leads to intimacy. It's holding hands. People hold hands. Certainly, son, they like each other. They could be a parent and a daughter, or hold a father and a daughter, and a mother and a son holding hands, and that's not a lead into intimacy. And therefore, the Bani Barnum of Hankin, he goes ahead and writes that in his, in his opinion, holding hands is not part of this isser. Yes, of course, a couple going out, fiancé, chassan and kala, before they're married. Now, of course, they cannot hold hands. Whether it's going to lead to anything or not, doesn't matter. That's, she's an erva, and so too when she's a nida. But regarding their chiba in public, showing chiba in public, the maid bunim holds that's not part of the isser, and the other hold maintain that they should not hold hands in public, so that too is considered to be an affectionate public act. And everyone, la la, should ask their rabbi. Shalom.